What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Vince Warburton and this is BW Fitness. Today we are talking about Steel Maid's Pro Grill Top 30 inch. Let's get to it. All right, so for those of you new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe and bell for notifications. We do weekly videos every single week, obviously. And uh, with this new product, we're actually gonna be doing a lot more cooking videos. Now my channel is centered mostly around supplement reviews and some vlogs, but with this purchase, I'm actually gonna be doing a lot more cooking videos, which I'm really, really excited about. Steelmade did not reach out to me. I bought this with my own personal money. It's been something I've been kind of looking into for a very long time. This review is gonna be a little bit different. It's more of an unboxing. Uh, I will go through the price point and kind of just my initial thoughts, uh, but there is a lot of work that kind of needs to go into this to really get the most out of it. So let's jump into it. Price point, this comes in at $289. That is for the 30 inch model, and that is the Pro Series. Now there is a difference between the Pro Series and the kind of regular steel made flat top grill top. The biggest difference here is gonna be the thickness of the steel. And in the original series, it is a 3 16 and this is a 3 8 So obviously a lot more steel here. This thing is heavy as all can be. Honestly, it's kind of a workout getting in here. I'm surprised it ships via FedEx. This thing was supposed to ship actually a week ago. Unfortunately, it was a little bit late. We are getting this right around the holiday season. It is New Year's Eve today, the day I'm shooting this. Now let's give this a, a quick unboxing. Okay, so you guys can kind of see it here. And this thing is, like I said, it's full steel. This thing is a solid piece of steel and it is heavy. So this is it right here, guys. Uh, as you guys saw, pretty heavy, hard for me to get out. I am at the very bottom floor of my house. So we are gonna have to carry this upstairs. And so yeah, that's the, this thing is thick, heavy, it's clean. It has been pre-seasoned, as you guys can see here, um, but this thing is gonna need some more seasoning to kind of get the initial uh, non-stick to, to occur. Now, this is what it comes with, a little drip tray here and a setup manual within the box. That's kind of it. And I do feel a little bit of that kind of, uh, you know, seasoning on here on top. It's gonna be fun to pick it upstairs and get this thing really seasoned. Uh, th they recommend using bacon. That is what we're gonna do. We gotta run to the store and do that. But uh, we'll see you guys upstairs. We'll get this thing pre-seasoned, kind of see the hot points and kind of take a look at it. All right, guys, we just set up the SteelMade Pro Series flat top on top of the stove here. Now, unfortunately with my stove top, it does not line up with the drip tray, which is right underneath here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's just down here. And unfortunately with the way that this stove is designed, it does not fit. Now this thing is extremely heavy, like I said, so you gotta be very careful when lifting it. Now we need to give this a quick little wipe down is kind of what it recommends on the setup instructions here. And then uh, we're gonna cook up a little bit of bacon to kind of season this thing up and get it moving. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our burners and put it on medium heat. It's almost like there's not enough. All right, so unfortunately with this running into an issue where my back burners are smaller and they don't want to ignite. And I, I'm sure it's probably because there's just not enough space, not enough airflow underneath. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to like lift this whole thing up so that it sits a little higher. Now, in the meantime, I do have the top, the, the front two burners on and they are heating up the surface. But if I put my hand right here in the back, um, there's very little heat, you know, right here in the back as well, very little heat. If I put them here, Definitely some heat coming through and it's only been going for about, I don't know, a minute. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook up a little bit of bacon and try to season this a little bit, at least pre-season it. I'm gonna have to figure out some way to get this, this back burners going because unfortunately they just won't light. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's very, very smoky. So be prepared to, uh, when you start seasoning this thing, it's gonna smoke a lot. That is normal, so be prepared. Now, I did get this back burner on uh, by opening the window and kind of creating some more airflow in here, but I'm definitely gonna have to figure out why I can't get this, this back burner on. As you can see, the bacon is kind of cooking here and uh, we're just kind of keeping the grease, kind of scraping it to the back and kind of seasoning the entire grill here. But you can't tell me that that's not like, oof, look at that bacon. Nikki Gates, how's that bacon look? Oof. This looks like a perfect piece of cooked bacon, man. All right, so we just finished up cooking that bacon, guys. Perfectly crispy. I mean, look at that. Mm. I mean, that's fantastic. Now, 
this is a trial and error. That's what comes with this kind of cooking. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to reach back out to SteelMade to figure out how we can get that back burner working, as well as making sure that we kind of evenly cook things a little bit better next time. But that's something on me. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe and bell for notifications. And as always, we'll catch you in the next one.